Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso was born on October 25, 1881 in Spain. He was the son of a painter and he began to draw at a very early age. In 1895, the family moved to Barcelona and Picasso studied art there. This was a very important part of his artistic development. Picasso's first exhibition took place in Barcelona in 1900, and that fall he went to Paris. Picasso settled in Paris in April 1904 and became friends with many painters and poets. His style developed from the Blue Period, which was from 1901 to 1904, to the Rose Period, which was in 1905, and then eventually his evolution of Cubism. In the 1920s, the artist and his wife Olga, whom he married in 1918, continued to live in Paris and travel frequently and spend their time at the beach. In 1925 and 1930s, Picasso was involved with the Surrealists, and from the fall of 1931, he was especially interested in making sculpture. In 1932, with large exhibitions, Picasso's fame increased, and by 1936, the Spanish Civil War had affected Picasso, and he expressed himself through a painting he called Guernica. Among the enormous number of exhibitions that were held during the artist's lifetime, in 1961, the artist remarried, and his most famous works were at the Modern Museum of Art in New York. There, Picasso continued his prolific work in painting, drawing prints, ceramics, and sculpture in Paris until his death on April 8, 1973. Picasso is still renowned and known as one of the most famous painters that's ever lived. All right, so we just watched the video on the famous artist, Pablo Picasso. I think it helps if you say it like that, honestly. You wanna say it together? Pablo Picasso. And you gotta hold out the O. So today we are going to kind of copy the style of Pablo Picasso and make our own Picasso faces. Now you saw that some of his faces were a little silly, right? Some of them were looking frontward, like looking straight at you, and the other ones might be looking to the side. This is a combination of a front view and a profile view. So a profile view is like if you had, I'm trying to find like a coin. The presidents on coins are always facing a side and you only see one eye and half your nose and half of your mouth. Today we're going to use a little template to pick out some different facial features, uh, different types of eyes, different types of mouths, different types of ears for you to use. And you have a couple different templates over there as far as how you want your, um, what kind of face you wanna start with. So this one was this template right here. Okay, this one's not finished. This is a different one. And I gave this gentleman glasses. And a different one here. Okay. I am going to zoom out a scotch. So, for today's project, you are going to need a blank template. Your Picasso faces. And at least a pencil. Okay, so 
first thing you're gonna do is pick out your stencil and you're gonna flip it over and, well, my name's not Mitchell, but let's pretend it is, and put your class code on the back. So in this case, it is 1A, okay? Now we need to decide what kind of facial features we're going to put on our face. Facial features are things like our eyes, nose, and mouth, our ears, our eyebrows. Maybe you have like a dimple, uh, your hairline. Those are all things or parts that make up your face as a whole. So those are called facial features. So on one side, I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do this big, big eye. So I'm gonna do my pupil and another circle and a really big circle. And then this one over here, I think I'm gonna have looking away. So I have a frontal view looking straight on and a profile view. And you know what? You guys are going to draw with pencil, but for the video, I'm going to draw with Sharpie. When you're all done with your pencil, we're going to go over it in Sharpie. All right, so now I'm going to do an eye facing out. Now, just because this eye has these things beside doesn't mean I have to use that. Or maybe I like these eyelashes, but I want it underneath this eye. Or maybe I like that over top. You can do whatever you can mix and match. Like maybe I like that pupil, but I like this setup, okay? So you can do what you want. I'm gonna have it facing that way. Just a sideways V. Okay, and we kind of already have the nose built in. Maybe I give him a, another nostril on this side. That's cool. And a mouth. I'm going to do my own mouth, I think. two ears right so maybe this one I'm gonna have my ear down low to make it look really funny because we saw in the video Picasso's faces they were kind of funny looking because he was using the style of cubism which was making everything simplified into a shape and maybe this one is a backwards seven Hair. I don't know. Do you think this is a guy or a girl? A girl. Okay. Well, I'm going to make these eyelashes pop a little bit more than if it's a girl. And I'm going to... Hmm. <laughs> trying to figure out what kind of hair I want. I'm going to put the part over here. And notice that my hair is high up above the head. It's gonna go behind the ear and I think it's gonna be like kind of a jagged kind of hair like that. And maybe down here. I could put a clip in it if I wanted to. I don't have to. And I'm gonna also give her a neckline and shoulders now if you take a look at these 
we did some kind of background on them. It doesn't have to be a crazy busy background though. It could be something as simple as stripes. So our, and this one's polka dots. This one's checkers. Okay. So I think for her, I think I'm going to do stripes. We said this is a girl. I feel like she's missing an upper lip. There we go. Now we have a girl. When you are done with this, remember you're going to draw with pencil. When you're done, you can trace with a Sharpie marker. And we are going to finish this up next class, coloring. But our coloring is going to be a little funky too. We're not gonna color it normal colors. We're going to do all kinds of bright colors on the face. Most people don't have a blue face, but maybe part of my face is blue. All right. To review, a portrait is a drawing or a painting of a person. A self-portrait is a drawing or painting you make of yourself. A frontal view is when you are looking straight ahead. You can see two eyes, two ears, both nostrils, and an entire mouth. A profile view is when a person is looking to the side and only have half of their face visible. You will only see one eye, one ear, one nostril, and half of your mouth. And cubism is the art movement created by Pablo Picasso that includes many views of the same image, making the image look like it's made of shapes.